Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today it's all about cooking with no power. You can tell I've got power here with all of our lighting and everything, but sometimes life just sends you a curveball and you've got to cook without any power. We're going to talk about that today and how to be confident in the kitchen, confident in knowing you can prepare meals for your family no matter what the circumstance. And go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the bell next to it so you and I can stay connected. We can build a relationship and together we can understand and learn how to treat our family, how to feed our family well, all while understanding God's recipe for excellent health. And that is totally encompasses everything because just as you are physical, you are spiritual. And just as you are spiritual, you are physical. So it's all connected. Okay, are you ready to get started? Yes, so this is a butane stove. When the power goes off here in Virginia, which happens more often than anywhere else we have lived, and we actually are in a very you know, highly populated area, it's not like we're out in the country by ourselves. And so in Virginia, the trees are extremely tall. And it just seems like when a storm comes in, they, they hear the forecast or they feel the breeze coming in, the trees just grab the power lines and say, I'm out of here, and they just go down without a fight. Uh, so there are many times we are filling up the bathtub, we are doing all of those preparatory things to get ready for no power. But I want you to understand, you can be confident. You can always cook for your family when we have no power. Sometimes no power can happen because of you know, financial distress. You can't pay the electric bill. You know, there's a lot of different reasons. Sometimes you need power when you're, co when you're camping or traveling. You know, you're stuck on the side of the road and you're like you, for hours because of a huge traffic jam. Well, I pray that never happens to you. It just is, feels good to know you can prepare for your family a hot meal. And warm meals just give us that comfort feeling, that satisfying feeling, more so than cold food. So this is the butane stove. It's very portable. This is the case it comes in, so you can just haul it anywhere. You can store it in the back of your truck or in your trunk of your car. Um, while you're traveling. I wouldn't keep it there all the time. It uses a gas called butane. Now, if you're new to this, like I was many years ago when I was starting all of my more intensive prepping, <laughs> I've always been a prepper, but I didn't realize how intensive I could take this to a new level. Uh, butane can actually be stored in your home. Many people who, when I taught the prepping classes, they live in an apartment and they're like, I didn't know I could cook on my own. Yes, with butane, you can. This can can store in your closet for you know up to 10 years. And, and so it's just very, it's, it's not as flammable as like propane and things like that. You don't wanna be storing that inside your house, but butane can. In fact, this stove can be used inside your own apartment as well. So when you get it out of the box, it's pretty much gonna look like this, just a flat bottom. You're just gonna take the cooking element off and flip it over like that and we have our burners. Then we just open up this and you can see we have butane in there. We just set the can in there, set it into the little opening, close it up and then we just light it and we have a flame ready to go. Okay, so we would just lock that can in place and we would turn this on light. And there we have our flame. I wasn't sure how well that was gonna happen on video. So I'm not sure how well you can see that blue flame, but it is definitely there and definitely burning. All right, so this is something that's very economical. Typically, you can get this under $20. It stores well. You can buy usually a pack of a dozen of these cans. Each can, if you're burning at a high rate, is gonna last you about two to three hours. If you use it on a normal pace, normal cooking medium, then it'll last you about four hours. You can turn it, you can, when you're not using it, just unlock it so it's not engaged with the gas, and that's it. It is so safe, so easy to use. Now let's talk about this. So when you have warmed up your liquids, maybe you've warmed up some water to cook some noodles, or maybe you've, you've stocked up on different you know, cans of soups, things like that for being a good prepper. 
It's better to not cook the soup on the stove, therefore using up your gas. Instead, it's good to have on hand a thermos. One of the old fashioned thermoses is like what my dad carried to work every day with his hot soup. On a side note, my mom would get up at like 4.30 in the morning and make him a hot soup and a hot lunch, and then he would take it in his thermos. A amazing idea of, of being a, that wonderful wife. Okay, so you could just take the top off and pour the hot water in, pour the dry ingredients in, seal it up nice and tight, and it will finish the cooking for you. And that way we're not using our heat element and our gas when we need to save it for another time. Now today we all have these drinking mugs that keep you know items cold or hot and it might work for you as well. So I just wanted to share with you just this quick video to help you be prepared for no matter what comes along and the butane stove is definitely my favorite. Yes, I have a gas stove so I could use that in different situations. I could light it with its own or their own big lighter. I could use the gas grill out on the on the back deck which um, I can also use in that some briquettes, which we have many bags extra stored in the barn. I can also use the propane tank that's attached to it. So there's a lots of different ways that we can cook when there's no power. This just happens to be my favorite. Now, if you're wanting to make bread like this, you may need to get a sun oven. Otherwise, just make biscuits and things like that here. So this is just one of my favorite hobbies I wanted to share with you because remember, the more we as people who are in charge of our family's health and their cooking and their food, the more we are confident knowing, hey, we've got this, don't worry, the more we can calm down our family. And when we are confident in the kitchen, we are confident in understanding God's love for us, then we can then help our neighbors. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure and put your comments down below and your like and subscribe. And it's always my joy to share with you God's recipe for excellent health. Now, if you have not checked it out yet, be sure and go to biblicalnutritionacademy.com where we have all of our courses listed. Courses on praying, fasting, eating, a lot of information there for you too to teach yourself God's recipe for excellent health. Thanks for watching.